What I'm going to look at here is how you can register two images together that are from perhaps different cameras, um, different pixel sizes, different scales, um, where perhaps you've got a, a larger image and you want to just use some um, high resolution data from a different um, a different setup or something. So for people that are used to this doing this kind of thing, this would be like using Registar um, in order to register images one to the other. So first of all, let me show you how it's done. It's really very easy. First of all, we need to upload the images that we're going to register. So I'm going to register that one with that one. OK, so these now are here in this bottom console. And in order to do any kind of registration, you just need to analyze the stars. Everything here is going to be on default. There we go, that's analysed, and we know that because it says star here. Right, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to register. Now, the reason I needed to star analyse was because I want to set the um, the image that is going to be registered to the other image. So I'm going to set, for example, I'm going to press set reference here. Um, as you can see here, do you manually want to select the frame? Yes, I do. And it does say here you can only do it when it's been star analysed, so yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this bottom frame here because I want to register. I want to register this top um, image stack here from a Sony sensor to this Kodak sensor. Now, I've set that and I know because it says reference here, but let me just show you these. OK, so here we've got the data from the Sony sensor. This is 14 um, half hour subs in HA. And there we've got the Kodak sensor. As you can see, that's slightly larger. So I want to register this data to the larger field of view. So I've selected this as the reference. Everything here I'm going to keep as um, default, but I'm going to use dynamic distortion correction. And I'm going to untick same camera and optics because it wasn't, it was a different camera. And now I'm just going to do start registration. OK, now what we've got is it's registered. So if we look at this 690 data here and we click up here and go to registered. You can see now it's changed its form somewhat and if I click onto this one you can see that that's registered perfectly there we go so all I'm going to do is I want to save this because perhaps I want to uh, use it in different um, different software or something for processing so I'm going to untick stretch and I'm going to leave it here on the registered so I know that this is the image that it's going to deal with and I'm going to click save um, and I'll put it down as uh, registered. I'll keep it as a fixed file. Here you can actually change it, so if you want to change it to a um, TIFF or JPEG, you can. There we go. So now that is the registered file there, and it is registered to this one here. There we go. So then you can use that in different software and you can feather that in. You can use it to um, to increase the resolution, perhaps of the, the middle of M42, however you want to use it. So I just thought I'd show you that because it's very, very quick, very, very easy and works a treat.